Hi Pisces, this is going to be your weekly love reading. All right, Queen of Wands. Here's the deal. I feel like somebody played games. They were like in this energy of winning at all costs. Okay, somebody here was willing to do whatever it took to win at all costs. Okay, and somebody here draped the Kool-Aid. Whoever was dealing with this person, this person thought they got away with something. And the other person is realizing that they were betrayed by somebody. Somebody here could be in a commitment or have past children with somebody. Somebody here could be pregnant, but I feel like somebody here is either either married, like I said, or in a long-term commitment with somebody or in some sort of contract with somebody here. I don't know. Maybe somebody's already paying child support to the court system or whatever. Like, I don't know. Whatever this is. The point is, is like, the person who was played is kind of seeing they were played. And pregnancy has something to do with the situation. Okay? Pregnancy has something to do with the situation. Somebody either is pregnant or somebody here is finding out that somebody is not, child is not their own or doesn't belong to them or whatever this is. Like, somebody's getting judged for this energy. Capricorn energy, Scorpio energy, six of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Somebody's being judged for like trying to play more than one person or they were giving to more than one person, having sex with more than one person or this person was like sleeping around. Um, or, or listen to me, hear me out. You could uh, identify as this queen of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female, doesn't matter. You can identify as somebody who is really like attractive, somebody who has turned, you know, somebody who's a go-getter, right? Or somebody who, who stands up for yourself, who stands up for your belief system. You, you have a lot of confidence. You're not a follower. You are a leader. You turned your back to a situation you're realizing somebody played a game for you. You feel like you waited too entirely too long for a situation because you're waiting entirely too long with somebody. They're, because they're giving the two people and it's really upsetting you and making you kind of gloomy and sad. For some of y'all, you could be pregnant or you could have gotten this person pregnant. Or you could be dealing with an earth sign. The thing is, I feel like somebody's not listening or didn't trust their intuition or they're not listening to their intuition. Like... Somebody ignored these red flags and these mind games. Somebody ignored this five of swords energy. And then the outcome was, unfortunately, it went from the five of swords to the ten of swords. Unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Okay. But... Your intuition told you to let this situation go here. Or this is your person and... and this is what your person's dealing with and they can't let you go. Okay. Um, but somebody is being told to let go of a situation because there's a new beginning available to them. And this situation is not the current situation is not good. There's something better. Okay. using sex magic somebody here could have used sex magic you know somebody here used sex or they had sex with somebody else and somebody is finding out the baby doesn't belong to them or someone i don't know because why would the sexuality card look at what's on the bottom of the deck confession someone has something to tell you yeah somebody wants to confess the truth or you're finding out the truth look at this sexuality and manifestation right that's sex magic. Then we have commitment. I hope nobody and keep in mind the hair is here with that Taurus energy. But th this is this this is whatever this commitment is. It's not it's not good. It's just not good. I don't. It's toxic. Somebody did sex magic. They played some games. I feel like somebody either did some spell work or used sex. Or a child, or a, look at this manipulation, dis, 
decisions being influenced by or exploited by outsiders. I'm telling you, I feel like somebody drank the damn Kool-Aid. And somebody here is delusional, though. Okay? It's, it's, I feel like it's hard for somebody but to believe and accept that some this person could do this to you. Okay? Hmm. Show me more here. Yeah, so it looks like to me that the Ten of Swords is an ending, by the way. It's a heartbreaking ending. It's a betrayal, some the deceit, somebody lied. You went from the Five of Swords all the way to the Ten of Swords, which tells me you've gone back and forth with this person or your person has gone back and forth with this karmic because whoever this person is is in this energy is definitely a karmic. So either A, y'all found out about a, you found out the T on this person or your person, if you're dealing with somebody else and they have somebody else, and this is what they found out about this karmic, karmic, somebody just realizing somebody played mind games. They were, so now somebody's like, I'm gone. I'm leaving. I'm single. I don't want to deal with this shit anymore. I'm breaking this contract. Some of y'all, somebody's packing their stuff and they're leaving. Someone here wants time apart, like, from a situation. They just, they just do. Show me one here. Mm -hmm. Somebody that got caught up in some lies or this person's about to have to confess and tell them. Yeah, dying love. The conclusion of a connection is approaching. I'm telling you, something here is about to be over. Shit is about to be over. Mm. Show me more here. Thank you, spirit. Toxic, unhealthy relationship pattern. I'm telling you, somebody's doing sex magic to either keep somebody around, or like I said, somebody. This could be someone using somebody for kids. This could be somebody lying and saying they're pregnant, and if they are pregnant, then they, they, you know it's not their baby, or maybe you're the one who's pregnant and somebody was manipulative and lied to you. Either way. The toxic person, the person in the relationship with the top in the connection with the toxic person, definitely there was some mind games and man manipulation here. We got manipulation, delusional, somebody's depressed, so, somebody's got secrets. Okay, they're doing sex magic, definitely having sex with multiple people. Could even be bisexual and, and sleeping with the same sex too, and not and not being forthcoming and honest with other people about this. Somebody's intuition told them this, or your person knows this, but they like ignored it or some shit, or they just believe what this person. The manipulation because of the sex magic. Like I hope your person wasn't this stupid to. Yeah, masquerading, pretending to be what you like in a partner. This person was wearing a mask, being extremely manipulative. Somebody got stuck and trapped in a situation with a car who was using sex, whatever this is, whatever. I, I just, it's a no. So now somebody feels trapped or this person was trying to trap somebody. So what it feels like to me is the secret is about to be out of the bag. The cat is about to be out of the bag or somebody's going to be forced to confess because either somebody is leaving and coming to their damn senses about what's being done to them or your person is coming to their senses about what this karmic is doing to them. And this person's going to be ashamed and embarrassed. Somebody about to be ashamed and embarrassed at their behavior. And they about to be sad. They about to be depressed. They're about to pay for what they did. They're about to pay for what they did. <sighs> Show me more here. I feel like somebody tried to trap somebody out of spite just because they didn't want somebody to leave, leave them or stop talking to them. Chemistry and passion just came out in reverse, which is telling me, like, obviously, you guys, make sure you hit the like button before you go. I am open for personal readings, by the way, you guys. That information is below in the description box. And subscribe to the channel if you're new here, okay? Welcome. And you're, I'm so glad you're here. If you're a returning subscriber, thank y'all for your support, okay? But there's no, like, I feel like this person is turned off now, right? It used to be all about the sex all about whatever this is that this person had that was so good to this person or whatever, but that shit is fizzled out.
that's fizzled out at this point. Like, there is no more of that. This is a wrap, especially with this conclusion of the connection that's about to approach. So this could have been a situation. Yeah, that's exactly what's happening. This, this shit is not working anymore. If somebody was doing sex magic or whatever, move in the bedroom. Um, Shannon Sharp. I watch, I'll be watching. Y'all ever watch Shannon Sharp and um, Ocho Cinco? I forget what the name of their show is, but they have a podcast on YouTube. And um, <laughs> Shannon was talking about um, Megan Thee Stallion the other day saying how she's about to have, like, you could have Megan Thee Stallion stretched out like it's three o'clock or something like that. And I was like, you know, it was funny, low key. But you should not be saying that about people. You, women, be respectful, Shannon. Come on, Unc. But the point is, is like, I feel like whoever this was, somebody was stretching it out to three o'clock. You get my dream. And whatever they were doing is played out. It is not working anymore. So now somebody's trying to figure some shit out and figure out how they can release themselves and get untrapped and unstuck from this crazy ass karma. Somebody is definitely crazy in here. Somebody ain't got them all. Somebody ain't got them all. Yep, look at this. Marrying for money in reverse. Whoever this person did marry for money in reverse is like, this person is stuck to this person because of finances for some of y'all, okay? Because running them, yeah. Didn't I say this shit? Tantric sex. Astral projection check, sex. Sex magic. Somebody tried to trap somebody. And and whoever is real, somebody's realizing this. So this person was caught up in delusion for a good little while. That's what it seems like to me. Somebody was caught up in delusion for a good little while and somebody is finally coming out. It's coming out. The delusion is coming out. So show me more here about the situation, please. Let's pull some more tarot. We got two more people here. Yeah, let me tell you. This Queen of Wands, I feel like this Queen of Wands is the person who was playing games with two masculines. One is a King of Cups coming out as a King of Cups. The other one is coming out as the King of Swords. Okay. Or this it can be the same masculine. I you know, we'll see. But I feel like Somebody gave and gave. We got the Page of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, and I'm using a different tarot deck too. Four of Pentacles, okay? So definitely money was involved, okay? I feel like somebody worked very hard to save some money or they were saving money for something. And I feel like maybe they were saving money for a baby or a family or gave somebody some money for a family or a baby. I don't know, right? Because you see in this tarot deck here, this, this page... Is giving this pentacle to this gnome and to me that just reminds me of like giving a pentacle to a, to a kid so somebody could have been like saving with the eight of pentacles being here it's like somebody work hard and they're looking at their hard work and they want to save it right with this four of pentacles but somebody's here to take this money and this person does not want to let it go okay they don't want to let it go this king of cups is the person who's emotional as shit about this situation could be a cancer Pisces or a Scorpio but they don't have to be this could be someone who's a father figure they could be somebody here who's like you know but definitely I feel like this is somebody here who's just over pissed off and this person's trying to figure something out here but you know this king of pinnacles seems to be really worried about or concerned and focused on money all right then we have the chariot card cancer energy <clears throat> somebody could be a cancer here and then we have a king of swords now I'm gonna say this if this is the same person if this is the same person, you guys, this King of Cups is just really thinking very methodically and carefully about where they place their money, where they hide their money, what they're going to do next strategically to make sure that their money and that they that they move smart. Okay, this that's what I'm saying. Okay, 
if this is two different people, I feel like this King of Cups and this um, King of Swords were sort of like pitted against each other or somehow, some way, this King of Cups found out about this King of Swords. <clears throat> I feel like this King of Cups is really emotional and pissed. Either way. <sighs> Show me more here. I don't even know when I'm going to title this video because... I don't know. It definitely seems like a flu. A, a flu yeah, somebody was pissed. Nine of Swords. I'm telling you, either there was a fight about this situation, either between this King of Cups or this and, and this King of Swords, or or <sighs> there was an argument, and this King of Cups is so pissed about the situation they're getting ready to find out. Somebody is about to have to explain them damn selves. Somebody finna have to explain themselves. Uh huh. Somebody getting ready to either hear something through the grapevine, something getting ready to happen pretty publicly too, in front of other people. Mm. I don't know. Somebody even might have got their ass whooped in, in public. Dang. <sighs> Y'all, I don't control. I don't. I thought this was going to be like, you know, a very light and airy two of cups. Let's see. Um, let me see what's going on here. Three of Pentacles. <clears throat> the Empress. Seven of Cups. Regret. Yeah, this person regrets the secret. Whatever the hell they did. It's coming out. Page of Swords. Oh, this shit is coming out. This shit is coming out. Pisces energy, Taurus energy. Listen, I feel like there, first of all, we have an empress here. Okay, I think we did see the commitment card. The hair of is here. The three of pentacles is here with the two of cups. Okay, so like it's giving somebody was in a, is it married here or in connection or has kids with somebody. Okay. Or there's a, some form of contract or somebody just been with somebody or committed or they live in the same house or whatever, okay? Everybody's situation is going to be different. But I just feel like something was made public. Um, Show me more of this Empress. This Empress could have been, let me see, because this Empress could be the one who, show me this Empress, please. Yep. Oh, thank you. Capricorn energy. Give me one more for the em Empress. That's the toxic person. Show me the empress. The person doing magic. Mm -hmm. Love magic, sex magic. Show me the empress. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel like the emperor's out here now. Somebody did love magic on this emperor. This empress. Somebody about to get their ass embarrassed though. I don't know. Show me more here. Mm -hmm. Yep. Avoiding and somebody, but the thing is, somebody is like refusing to believe that this person would do this to them. It says avoiding, refusing to see the reality of this connection. Maybe this is the Empress refusing to see this because, you know, this is, can be delusional energy. Somebody here is definitely delusional. I really strongly feel though that this Empress is doing magic on this person. Somebody. And magic can be manipulation, embarrassment, I don't know, being lying, obstacles. Somebody here is refusing. Somebody, I feel like somebody is sticking it out with a motherfucker who they know they need to let go, who is full of shit, and they are like just conniving or something or like oh, they lied they're lying about something and they are using sex magic lies gossip money um 
someone here is wearing a false mask and somebody here is playing to fucking win. I, I feel like somebody is drinking the Kool-Aid, even though they know deep down inside this is a bunch of bullshit. So they, this person is deciding to, oh, we can work things out. We can overcome this. We can overcome this. Let's overcome this. If this is your person, they miss you. But they miss you and they feel like the two of you would, are supposed to be building an, an empire. But how in the hell are y'all supposed to do that when this person refuses to leave this up? Yeah, somebody here is, I'm telling you, engaging in multiple sex partners or lying about who they have sex with or doing sex magic. Yeah. And it's just not, a, it's not working. I don't care if that, for, for those of you who are dealing with somebody who is married or you know, or you were married to this person or whatever, even if they're on paper, right? Because it's definitely given there's a commitment on paper. The hair fine is here. The two of cups is here. The three of pentacles is here. The emperor and the empress is here. This is a family situation or somebody with kids. We already saw the pregnancy card. The six of cups is out here also. Okay, the two of y'all are incompatible or your person and this person are in a loveless marriage or commitment. They just are. <clears throat> anyway, so what's this person want to say to the collective? Ooh, that's too many. That's way too many. But anyway, but they miss you. They can't let go of you. But they aren't able to let this other situation go, even though they know this is full of shit and there's a bunch of toxic drama over there. <clears throat> this person watches your social media. They're watching you online. So, um, and I'm sure you know that. Yeah, this person's watching you online and they compare other people to you. They compare this other person they're with to you, but how can you compare apples and oranges? Because, like... You're not in this energy. You're not even here in this reading. You really haven't shown up in this reading, collective. I watch your social media and I compare others to you. <clears throat> so they're going to stay stuck with somebody they know is full of shit and toxic. Yeah, I'm in a committed relationship. You see what I'm saying? We know, we know, Cletus. We know. At least we know now. Shit. Maybe that's what's confessing. Somebody's confessing to you. Will you ever make things right? So for some of y'all, this person thinks like you might come back around to them. I don't know. I don't even know what that is about. Maybe that's you feeling like, will they ever make things something right? I'm recovering. I would do it all again. I feel like this person has drama. Somebody here could be a recovering addict too. But some drama did go down. Something could have went down. There could have been drama, fighting, whatever it is. And somebody, there was some form of embarrassment. <clears throat> Show them right here. Mm -hmm. And this person is still hurting over that. I feel like this person's been sending you a lot of mixed signals because they want to back, they want to um, juggle you. They don't want to let go of this other situation and this other person who, yeah, this person is secretly stalking you, like just lurking. Definitely have a, a fake social media account. They have a really unhealthy obsession with you. But like I was saying, it's like. This person sends sends you mixed signals because they want to try to keep you around. I'm telling you, this person is avoiding leaving this other person and making a decision. See, the thing is, this person person is staying in this situation because of their belief system, which is real outdated and old fashioned. By the way, it's it's, it's, it's giving one of those situations where like, oh, I got married, I'm never getting divorced. So let's just ruin the kids' lives. You know, because let's be honest, I'm not saying I believe in divorce. I do believe in divorce, okay? However, because sometimes it's healthier to get a divorce so you can go heal and so your children grow up in a non-toxic environment, a healthy environment where two adults can co-parent. 
it's, it can happen. You can also damage your children by staying in a toxic relationship. Kids pay attention to everything. Okay, kids mimic adults. It can affect people how these children, what these children see now that can affect their decisions when they grow up. Okay, but I feel like y'all are not waiting on this person. And you're not even concerned. And I don't even know why we're talking about it. But this is old news to you. Fake flexing, acts rich, flosses money, acts fancy, and shows off. Didn't I, excuse me, didn't I tell y'all earlier? I thought I'm pretty sure I told y'all earlier, like, somebody's, like, saving their money, but also, too, like, somebody's wearing a mask. I, and money definitely has something to do with this situation. And somebody may, for some of y'all, this person could have married for money, but... This person just not trusting their intuition because they don't want to, they don't want to accept the reality of the situation. So spirit is saying like, eventually spirit is going to be like tower moment. You don't want to accept it. This is what we going to do. This is what we going to do. We going to bring all this shit out. But somebody in here is come doing some form of stalking. This person is watching you. I guess spirit wants to talk about this because this person is so obsessive and they're watching you and stalking you. Because the stalking cards have come out all over the place. Where did those other cards go? Hold on. I'm going to show you. Somebody definitely is like, has some bad habits too. You know, this karma really allows them to stay low vibrational and do all this low vibrational shit. Because I literally just saw... Um, I just saw um, bad habits. So they may allow this person to do all this other crazy shit or just do whatever the hell it is they want to do or not just grow and heal. Yeah, here it is. Secret stalker. Stalker. And I know I saw her somewhere else. Anyway, y'all get my point. Um... Show me more here. So they want you to know that they love, Spirit wants you to know, I guess, that we're talking about this because this person is obsessively watching you, watching shit go down, enjoying the gossip. This is going to be you. You about to find, some, find something out or see something like here through the grapevine. <laughs> you be eating your popcorn. Like, mmm, mmm. Somebody is really about to try to free themselves, though, because this person's been thinking. They know the truth. Um, and this, you know what? Low-key, this person literally could just be moving in silent, and they don't want this karmic to know what they're doing. Okay? That's for some of y'all. That's not for everybody. Okay? But I feel strongly like this masculine regrets walking away from you or not leaving sooner. Um, definitely this karmic regrets what they did because they're depressed as shit and concerned and worried <clears throat> they know this time is up I'm telling you there was some form of fight I don't know who was rejected here what is this rejected we got lost ghosted blocked and cut off look at this and, go and girl fight girl fight okay so <laughs> you know what this is telling me hold on then we have copycat. Then we have twin sister. Let me tell you what happened. This karmic that they're with, who wanted to be with them so bad or was in this five of swords energy, win at all costs. And I feel like this person was like, aha, bitch, I got them. You don't. Mm, okay. Mm, really, you can have them. I don't, you know, whatever. Right? <laughs> I feel like that was y'all. Because... You might even try to tell this this masculine about this person. This person acted like you. They acted like an imposter, whatever. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, maybe you had some words exchanged with this person at one point. Or this person's just real jealous of you. Um, and they're going to do any and everything they can to keep this person away from you. Right? They were going to do anything and everything they can to try to make this masculine reject you. Hmm. 
This says at war competing. So how is it that you feel like you can compete <clears throat> by being somebody else? I never seen Mike Tyson fight Mike Tyson in no title. I don't I don't remember that. Whatever. Who what show me more? I don't. This is the craziest shit I've never I've never seen. I don't know nothing that I don't <laughs> what is it? what else here, please? What else does the collective need to know about this connection? <clears throat> I feel like you guys don't want to talk to them. You don't miss this person and you're not waiting for them. You're just not waiting for them because they were in this undecided energy. And for a lot of y'all, this person still is. Honestly, to be real with you, they are still undecided. They still really don't know what they want from you because they're still stuck. And not listening to the divine and not paying attention to the signs and listening to these karmics lies. Now, obviously, this is not going to last very long before the spirit sends in that tower and crack the whip on that ass. Because that's what's going to happen. You know, this person feels trapped and stuck. This person feels trapped and stuck. They really, look at this, broke. Somebody you cannot get away from somebody. Look at this, caution. Somebody can't get away from, from somebody because they don't have enough money or they, all right. We got the no escape card in reverse with the broke card. Somebody is realizing definitely money is an issue, okay? This person is just refused to heal, though. And, yep, they definitely are worried in denial. This person would rather stay in this fucked up ass energy than heal or accept what's going on. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all about to watch this from afar. I feel like somebody's having an ego death. Somebody's ego got checked. Look at this. Arrogance in reverse with too busy winning. Somebody's ego just got checked. Mm-hmm. You know, this person works a whole lot. Somebody, someone, this karmic or this karmic lesson, okay, this could either be this third party karmic or your person is learning a lesson. Somebody here is learning a lesson that happiness is not in value by money. It's not weighed by money. It's not measured by the amount of money that you may have or the designer clothes that you may wear or how you look on the outside. Somebody here is working so much and doing so much. At one point they were, I feel like this shit isn't working anymore for them. But really this person is insecure. They're only doing that because they're insecure. Tom Ford is playing by Jay-Z. So somebody here could love Tom Ford. Maybe the cologne, maybe the clothes. Somebody think they are the shit because they can wear some Tom Ford and, a, and afford Tom Ford. And um, if you can afford Tom Ford and you want to wear it, I think you shouldn't do it if that's how you feel. But, like, obviously, like, uh, if that's what you like, you're grown, that's your money, you can do whatever you want to do with it. However, like, don't be, oh, yeah, look, fake flexing. Remember we saw that fake, fake flexing? Like... But all this person is really doing is cop trying to copy, copy you. <sighs> the, the point is, it don't matter what you buy, whatever name it is, like, it's not going to fulfill you. It's not going to change who you are. Have you done the healing work? Have you done the healing work? Somebody is avoiding this. They don't want to see it. They're in denial. Marrying for money. Child, using somebody for money. Somebody just so... And then whoever this is, somebody, I mean, has multiple sex partners. If somebody even could have gotten pregnant. But they refuse to see. Hmm. Somebody about to see now. They about to see now. Mm-hmm. I don't know, y'all. Um, I mean, what 
is a collective view today. <laughs> Any advice for the collective? Let's wrap this reading up, y'all. Any advice for the thank you? Celebrate. Spirit says celebrate. Go have you some fun. Go have a drink. Take a shot for me. Okay? Celebrate. Shoot. Life is good, right? You're being asked to celebrate a recent accomplishment, no matter how big or small. Do something special to commemorate the moment. You deserve that and so much more. So you go have fun. You go celebrate. Some of y'all are going to get ready to have a reason to celebrate your life. Unfortunately, we had to talk about this other person and what drama they have going on. But see, you are in an energy of celebration, um, accomplish celebrating accomplishments. And even if you have a small accomplishment, sis, Go have a drink with your friends this weekend. You are in this expanding energy. Your life is getting bigger, better. Like, the possibilities, doors are opening for you guys. Like, your life is, is getting ready to expand. It says you live in a huge world with endless possibilities. And staying, in, staying safe in, in the known is no longer working for you. It's time for you to make your world just a little bit bigger. It's time to imagine the possibilities and go for them. Dream big. Go big or go home. Love you, love you, love you.